Hey guys, I don't have a vlog for you today, but I will have a different kind of video. I am going to unbox the Healy Ball! And I also have a little bit of an announcement because the last couple of weeks um, something is going on in my private life that I don't want to talk about. Also, I am having the post-holiday blues and still a post-travel depression blues, I guess. So I decided that the next two weeks I'm not going to vlog because I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, sometimes during the day something happens and it will just throw me off and make me sad. And I hope you understand that those are not the most fun moments to film your life. Of course, when I'm traveling, I, I also film the sad moments, but this is something like super private that I don't want to share and I don't want you to watch me being sad in vlogs or something. Next to this, I also have a massive backlog of videos that I wanted to make when I returned to the Netherlands and I didn't have time to do that. So I thought, you know what, maybe this is a sign to just, um, you know, turn down the vlogging a little bit just for two weeks until we start traveling again and um, make those videos that I wanted to make while I was traveling but didn't have the time or like the facilities to do it, like unboxing the Healy Ball. So in the upcoming week, you will finally get uh, my yoga class uh, in five separate videos because one yoga class lasts for like two hours or something, two and a half sometimes. So I will make like five videos about that. I will also make a video explaining why I love India, um, you know, the best beaches videos, uh, the curly, gear, uh, curly, girl, curly girl hair routine video that is also requested for almost a year now. So there are so many videos that I want to make and I didn't have time for it. For it. Um, it just frustrates me and now I think is a perfect opportunity to make those videos. So don't worry, there will still be a video every single day, sometimes two times a day, probably in the weekend, but just no vlogs for two weeks and after that we're going to Hamburg. So of course that's when I'm going to start daily vlogging again. I hope you guys understand, but you're the sweetest and the most understanding viewers ever, so I have no doubts that you um, understand what I mean and yeah, that you're just cool people. I love you. Thank you. Way too long of an intro. This little toy totally stole my heart, but I didn't want to buy it for myself because I was on a minimalist streak. And then Stefan decided to buy it for me. So let's do the unboxing together. I'm so excited about this. I will probably have to charge it first because I could, before I can demonstrate it, but I just want to do this together with you because it makes me very happy and excited. So let's do it. So the Healy Ball is a toy that flies and you control it with the airstream underneath it and with your hand so see like this so it, oh underneath it there's like an airstream and when you put your hand underneath it then it flies up and you know to the left to the right I, i'm still not good at controlling it uh so flies up to four meter i haven't tried that i think our apartment is like three or something so we could test it Control it with the palm of your hand, hovers above any surface, no battery is required, charge using the USB. Mm, it's probably not going to be charged. But then I'm just gonna charge it and come back to you. Okay, no batteries. So that's something I really, really like with toys. Ooh, ooh, has like extra spare batteries at home when you need them when you need them, because that's the key. You always have batteries, except when you need them, then you don't have them. So this is perfect. There's like a USB charger. You can just use your iPhone um, plug and then charge the toy. And this is a toy. It's so cute. And also, oh, damn it. This tape to the packaging. Why? Why? Por qué? <laughs> okay. Luckily, I don't have to get scissors because I hate that. Okay, so this is a toy. Look how cute! There are different variations. Uh, you have Oxuzi. Mm, oh, look, look. Oxuzi, Marv. Which one is this? Shimozu. And then we have Galactar. And. Adelia, and this is the one I have, Kiala. Hello, my little Kiala. You're so cute, you look like a panda. Don't tell me this is broken. I will cry if it's broken. 
don't do that to me. Okay, so these things rotate, of course, to make the toy fly. Let me see if it's charged, I don't think so. Um, there are like these small buttons at the bottom. Um, this is the on and off button, which I think is really small, but of course it's made for kids, so probably for smaller fingers than mine. But if you're a man, mm, this could be quite frustrating. It's charged? Really? <laughs> The light goes on, we turn it on, oh, it's probably, the battery's probably quite low. So, it has a light, you could also play with it in the dark, how cool would that be? I'm so happy it's charged, like seriously. Um, this is the charge, wait, let me just turn it off for a little bit. Come on, baby. Ah. So yeah, turning it on and off is a little bit of a hassle because the button is so small, but that's probably because of, you know, they don't want to add extra weight, so they made it as small as possible. Um, what is the charging station? I think this is like the charging entry. You see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm sorry, Grace Helbigler, friends. There we go. So this is the charging uh, port, and then the on and off button, and this, I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe that's a light or something. I have no clue. But for real, okay, let's play with it. Oh, this is so cool! I'm so happy it's charged, like for real. Come on. And then it suddenly... And then it suddenly turns on, that's like... Seriously. Okay, you would think this is dangerous, but it's a toy made for children. So I'm guessing if I put my hand between the rope um, propeller, it should be all right. But if I lose my hand, it's for our video! Okay, let's do this. Yeah, it just shuts down. Perfect. So it's safe. I wouldn't expect anything else, but turning it on. Wait, did it just waste the battery? No. It takes so long before it turns on. Okay, let me show you. Wait, 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 wait. This is so cool. I love her so much. Like for real, I am 32 and I am loving this toy. I am so in love with it. It is the best thing ever. Where are you going, little one? Where are you going? Come back. It's almost like a puppy. Come back. A puppy, but you don't have to feed it. You don't have to take it outside to pee. Where are you going? Why are you going there? Okay, it's breaking my camera. Why? Por que, Kiara? Por que? Let me see. Oh my gosh. Is it still? Where is she going? What is, what is wrong with her? Okay, wait. Okay, she's calm now. Okay. And let's play, baby. And I don't know what it is, but it's like super zen to do this. It's very, very extremely relaxing and I don't know somebody said like playing with balloons 2.0 which is, I think is totally correct because I when I was a kid I, and still I could play with balloons like the dumbest thing like throw the balloon up and up and up and I could do that for an hour I would totally enjoy that come back baby come back she's just hovering in the air right now wait come back no she doesn't want to come back wait wait let me get her. Yeah, the honey. Don't be shy. She is flying quite high. Look. Whee! I'm not doing anything. Oh! I have my... Okay, don't break the camera, Kira. She's just hovering in there. Come back. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, she crashed. <laughs> and I am breaking everything. She's like a real puppy. She's definitely not rising until the ceiling and this room is like three meters high or something. So I'm guessing if you want her to fly, or him, whichever one you get, if you want her to fly, um, and, well, up to four meters, you would have to lift her up or something. She is so cute and so adorable. I love this toy so much. Stefan just told me you probably have to charge it. 
to let the toy touch the ceiling. So I'm going to do that and then play with it. When I start vlogging again, you'll probably see me play with, play with it. Um, so it's 10 euros in the Netherlands and he bought it at the regular toy store. So if you live in the Netherlands, Bart Smith or I don't know if Intertoys still exists, 10 euros and it is the best toy ever. I would highly recommend to buy this one. It's so, so, so freaking cute. So I hope you enjoyed unboxing Kiala with me. I love her so much. She's so cute. If you did, put a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, click that subscribe button because I'll be making a little bit different kind of videos these two weeks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.